Tomorrow is a really exciting day for the Stacks ecosystem, and that's because Nakamoto is finally releasing sometime on the 28th or 29th of this month. So in this video, I'm gonna go over everything you need to know about this Nakamoto upgrade, as well as some things to pay attention to in the ecosystem. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, if you don't know anything about Stacks, I've covered it pretty extensively on this channel in the past, but the main things you have to know is that it is the largest layer two for Bitcoin. They've been building for over three years now and they have 100% Bitcoin finality, meaning that all of the transactions are secured by the main layer one of Bitcoin. Now what's really interesting here is that Bitcoin doesn't actually have any capabilities for a layer one smart contract unless you're using some sort of third party operating system. So this is where something like Stacks and other L2s out there can be really valuable because not only can you potentially have fast faster and cheaper transactions, but you also unlock smart contract capabilities, but now you can build all these different decentralized applications while still having the security of the layer one. So the reason why the Stacks ecosystem and Nakamoto upgrade is so interesting is because usually when you use some sort of layer two out there, you're expecting those faster and cheaper transactions. But the actual Stacks blockchain has 10 minute block times, which is the same amount of time as the layer one of Bitcoin. So the actual user experience over on Stacks has been pretty subpar simply because the transactions would take 10, 20, even 30 minutes to go through. And sometimes to make it worse, they wouldn't even go through. However, Nakamoto is posed to change all that. And they're finally releasing after months and months of delays sometime in the next two days. The big thing the big thing that you have to know about the Nakamoto upgrade is that it's taking this 10 minute block time and shrinking it down to five seconds. So that means your transactions are gonna go through in about five seconds or maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds, something along these lines, depending on congestion, rather than you having to wait a minimum of 10 minutes. And because of this, we expect a lot of the Stacks ecosystem to now really flourish for the first time, simply because the user experience is going to be so much better and it's going to actually make sense to use Stacks rather than the layer one of Bitcoin because of that speed and because of the cheaper cost and because of the smart contract capability. One of the major things that I wanna stress here is that it still has that full Bitcoin finality. So they have that security of, of all of these transactions being uploaded to the main layer one of Bitcoin and being irreversible. Now, what does this mean for the Stacks ecosystem and why did I feel like it was important to make a video on this? Well, guys, this has been delayed for a significant amount of time now and this is finally going to be taking place at block 867867 which depending on where you are in the world is either the 29th or 30th of October and one of the really interesting things is that a lot of the different tokens within the ecosystem of stacks are not listed on major centralized exchanges yes you have the actual stacks token on Binance and all these other exchanges but a lot of their ecosystem tokens are only located on let's say Mexi or Gay IO and they aren't really listed on any major centralized exchanges. I will say Alex Labs is located on a few more places, but most of the tokens are still very much so on the DeFi side of things, and that DeFi has been a pretty horrible user experience. All of the sudden, you're taking that horrible experience and you're shrinking it down to five second block times, and I think that this will have an enormous impact on a lot of the tokens within the ecosystem, especially if Bitcoin as the layer one really starts blowing up and getting congested now all of a sudden people are looking for a layer two okay what's the most trusted layer two okay that stacks now all of a sudden the stacks ecosystem is fast and cheap now all of a sudden some of these different ecosystem plays could get some of that liquidity the three main ecosystem plays that i'm personally looking at is alex labs which is the largest decentralized application on stacks this is where you do all the swapping where a lot of the major lps are they even have a launch pad order book they're doing a ton of different stuff and have been building for a long time. And then I'm also taking a close look at two different meme coins. The first meme coin is Welsh and I've covered Welsh in the past. It's sitting at around a 30, $31 million market cap. And it's the largest dog and meme coin over in the Stacks ecosystem. And then you actually have the third project, Leo, which is the largest cat meme over in the Stacks ecosystem. And I believe
believe this is somewhere around $10 million. So in my opinion, in a non-financial advice way, it's pretty crazy to me that even though Stacks is pretty much a top 30 coin, that a lot of the major players in their ecosystem have still very low market caps compared to the main blockchain's market cap itself. I've covered some of the other projects in the past, how you can airdrop Stacking DAO and Lisa and all these other things. But if you wanted to check out their whole entire ecosystem, you can actually go to their site and you can look at all of the different projects that are building. The main reason that I brought up these three tokens today is because meme coins have been getting the most amount of attraction and attention and is what most people are caring about right now. So that's why these two meme coins, the top meme coins are on my radar. And then if you wanted to look at one of the largest beta plays, similar to the Jupiter of Solana, then you'd be looking at Alex Labs of Stacks. Now be aware that in order for any of these to perform, you're going to need that main layer one of Stacks to perform. And in my personal opinion, with this Nakamoto upgrade finally going out and with the additional traction and narrative going around Bitcoin and then the implementation of SBTC, a wrapped Bitcoin over on Stacks happening sometime in the next couple months after this release, I think that there could be a good shot that this ecosystem actually gains a lot of traction. I'm gonna try to cover some of the Stacks ecosystem more over the next month. So if you're someone interested in learning more about Stacks and being on top of it, make sure you subscribe. And then also we have an alpha group cross-chain alpha group called Jelly Cubes. And if you want to join our group, all you have to do is join our Discord in the description, ask for a free trial pass, and then you can check us out. And we try to stay on top of the different things happening within ecosystems. But that pretty much wraps up the video. Hope you all enjoyed it and I'll catch you all later.